when it decides whether or not to list XRP, the XRP community is eagerly awaiting the emails that are being sent back and forth between the parties involved. The case brought by the United States Securities in exchange has at long last been resolved, uh, and Coinbase's request to dismiss the action has been heard. Notably, attorneys for both sides had an appearance before New York District Judge Catherine Pell yesterday to present their arguments for either dismissal or continuation of the litigation concerning the background of the Cia Levi allegations of securities law violations against Coinbase. Uh, these arguments were presented about the background presented in June. Uh, a great number of cryptocurrency observers are thinking that the lawsuit lodged by the SEC against Coinbase would be transferred to discovery. Coinbase provides a list of 13 digital assets, none of which the Securities and Exchange Commission considers to be registered securities. The staking function of the exchange was also given the status of security by the regulatory body. Because users of Coinbase's trading platform do not engage in the trading of underlying investment contracts, the company is arguing that the assets that are displayed on its platform do not constitute securities and so should be rejected by the court. The exchange, which is situated in San Francisco, referred to the primary concerns once more in its petition to dismiss the application. Following the conclusion of the hearing that took place yesterday, the chief legal officer of Coinbase, Paul Gruel, came to the platform to express his optimism regarding the company's case and to declare their preparedness for Congress to intervene and implement regulations for the cryptocurrency business. This assertion is consistent with the doctrine that states the Securities and Exchange Commission must first receive authorization from Congress before it can regulate a cutting-edge business such as Bitcoin. James Murphy emphasized that there is no way to inflict a deadly blow to any side. Uh, legal expert argues that the judge's understanding of the issue is clear from the 14 pages of questions that she prepared for the hearing. Murphy has been closely tracking the Coinbase lawsuit, and the expert claims that the judge's mastery of the subject is evident. Throughout the five-hour session, the judge's expertise and experience were readily apparent. Um, it is important to note that the party's objections to the conclusions of the Terra and Ripple cases, which were handed down by Judges Jed Rykoff and, and Eliza Torres, respectively, were not unexpected. Following a significant finding that Vitalik, the founder of Ethereum, conspired to pay off the United States Securities and Exchange Commission to put XRP on a dead list and classify it as a security. It is predicted that Virik will step down as a result of this discovery. Multiple leaks have revealed this information. Both of the judges are included in the FIT district. This comment was made after the actual XRP investment that the Gardner family had made was disclosed in a piece written by an unknown author. There is a correlation between the time of the unintended email breaches that occurred between V, the founder and CEO of the Ethereum Foundation, and the chairman of the SEC and Force purported prediction that the value of XRP will be near to or greater than $660,000. In a short amount of time, Google and Bing have uh, verified this. According to my understanding, the Rumble case served as the impetus for the conception of the Ethereum Foundation, which I believe required a point of departure. Uh, during our investigation, we found out that Vitalik Brin, a Canadian Russian, is currently in charge of Ethereum and that William Henman had stated in a lecture in 2018 that Ethereum was not security at the time. Brin is the one who conceived the idea and registered it as a hybrid platform for decentralized mining and software development. He was the one who came up with the concept. More confirmation is as follows. In his white paper from 2013, he proposed Ethereum. Nevertheless, the platform did not gain popularity until he announced it at the North American Bitcoin Conference in Miami on January 26, 2014. The Ethereum platform was established by the same individual who gave it the moniker Valerian Brain. It was discovered in November 2013 that seven accounts had been offered by individuals in the audience who had participated in the same chat as me. These individuals had provided information that Ethereum's developer had coordinated with the Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States government to essentially compensate them explicitly. William Hyman should acquire this as a complete timeline and consider the XRP digital asset of security coin market cap removed all South Korean exchanges from its XRP price computation just after this happened on January 4th, 2018, sending the price of XRP tumbling below $1 and causing a decline in market capitalization of over $20 billion, according to the documents provided here. Announced the report I received personally this occurred because... Brandon, the then CEO, believed that South Korean exchanges were artificially inflating the value of digital assets instead of keeping them at their fair market value Ethereum. Following suit, I made the decision a few days later to take notice of these two digital assets and to decide to hit 
a new all-time high of more than $11,390. The, the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Jay Clinton, convened a meeting with a group of acquaintances that he had assembled to establish the Ethereum Investor Group. Because they had given both XRP and Ethereum significant consideration, this was an essential step that the group took before deciding on their investment. In any event, they decided to move forward. Uh, Bill Heyman decided by Keith Perkinson in a message that he sent a few weeks after the initial message. In an interview with Bloomberg, which took place a few days later, one of the few people who managed to survive, Brad Garlinghouse offers a detailed explanation of how Ripple intends to replace SWIFT with their digital currency, XRP. Announced the, in addition to this, he proposed the idea of convening a confidential meeting with the investment group to get an exemption from the SEC legislation. On the other hand, word quickly spread about the meeting, and according to Nathaniel, uh, Ethereum investors are requesting that the cryptocurrency be classified as a non-security coin rather than as XRP and more. This is in response to a statement made by the Commodity and Future Trading Commission in which Gary Gensler, the former head of the before taking any action on Ripple Ethereum, stated that more regulatory clarification was required. After that, he convened a gathering of members of the cryptocurrency community. One of them was Joe Bloodwig. And after that, they established the Ethereum Foundation team. Things eventually spiraled out of control after that. In the same month that Coinbase made the announcement that it would list the Ethereum Classic, a uh, memo was approved to review the approval of the XRP securities among the staff of the Securities and Exchange Commission. On the other hand, SEIC has neglected to make the specifics of this statement accessible to the general public To because William Heyman had previously declared that XRP was security and that the Ethereum Foundation's Ether asset was now the security. This occurred. The Ethereum Foundation sent a memo to the Securities and Exchange Commission a few days after the SEC formally approved the speed. In the memo, the Foundation requested an immediate private interpretation of Ripple and XRP, as well as possible additional actions. Even though not everyone agreed with uh, the man's assertion that XRP is sufficiently decentralized to not be considered a security, this proclamation gained popularity because it is more efficient, less expensive, and decentralized than other cryptocurrencies. Nancy, who was present at the undercover meeting with the SAC, voiced her disagreement and also noted that TrixRep is vulnerable because it is significantly less centralized than Ethereum. Clarification was provided by Bill Henman regarding the fact that the lecture was meant for Ethereum and included market guidance. This was the result of private discussions that took place between Ethereum and the CC The at this point. That is all. 